Okay, I'm going to do a second informal water jug test today with a couple different uh, carbines. Uh, first up will be a uh, AR-15. I'm going to be shooting two different types of M193. One is an old kind of crappy import uh, Squires Bingham. Uh, the velocity is only slightly lower than actual NATO 556 though. So we'll give it a try. That's the first round. Second round down is actual Winchester WCC 93 uh, with a NATO cross on it. So that's the real deal. They're getting 3,000 feet per second or a little more. Oh, second uh, carbine is a Ruger pistol caliber carbine, 40 Smith & Wesson. The ammo is a pretty hot hand load with a uh, Rainier plated bullet, hollow point. Uh, not premium ammo, but pretty hot. Uh, let's see how that goes. Let's get situated. Okay. AR-15. First round on the left-hand jug. It's the Squires Bingham, 55 green ball. Second round, WCC 93 NATO ball. Decent. That comes safe. The Ruger pistol caliber carbine, 40 Smith and Wesson. The Rainier 165 plated hollow point. Hmm. All right, really pretty similar results, honestly. Let's take a look. As in a previous test. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. This would be the entrance. The way I had every jug stacked, made a clean hole, and evidently started to tumble on the way out of the jug, which is kind of what M193 is known to do. It tumbles a little bit late. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, the NATO ball, same thing. I had the label on every bottle on the right-hand side. So this is the entrance, pretty clean, and ripped on the way out. Yeah, 165, 40 Smith & Wesson. It opened it up pretty good. As I said, this is not premium ammo. It's a plated, very cheap bullet, driven at high velocity. I'd say the results were... At the very least, comparable to the 556. All right, that was fun for me. Later.